German paleontologist Ernst Stromer discovered the very first dinosaur remains in Egypt, including Spinosaurus aegyptiacus, as seen in Jurassic Park. But during the World War II RAF bombing raid of Munich, the museum was ruined and the bones destroyed. Fast forward to 1997, and a young Hisham Salam is fascinated with Stromer's discovery. Hisham embarks on his own journey, continuing the search for Egypt's early history. With little enthusiasm locally to help him in his studies, he flies to the UK to study at Oxford University. Hisham is awarded a PhD in vertebrate paleontology and becomes the first Egyptian to earn this doctorate in decades. Back in Egypt, Hisham becomes the very first professor of paleontology at Mansoura University. However, the facilities are somewhat limited. Hisham and his team of six, now including three female assistants, planned and packed for a long expedition. Searching from dawn till dusk for days, they eventually find the skeletal remains of a dinosaur. But overnight, robbers wreck their site looking for treasures. With the bones scattered and destroyed, they return to Manzura demoralized. A new expedition takes them to a site in the Dakla oasis, near a commercial quarry. Sara, one of the assistants, with a sharp eye, spots a clue. It turns out to be the skeleton of a huge dinosaur. They are ecstatic, but six people cheering draws attention. A workman from the quarry plows towards them in his bulldozer. They shout and wave, but the driver continues straight for the ancient skeleton. With just two meters before disaster, he turns. The team collapse in relief. The site is saved. As they continue unpicking time, they expose the lower mandible of a dinosaur. A dinosaur that they would later call Manzurosaurus shahini. One afternoon, they find themselves surrounded by antiquity hunters. Hisham was very scared, but tried not to show it. He distracted the men by explaining that there were no treasures. It was a geological dig. One of the hunters lifted the lower mandible and examined it before throwing it away and leaving. With their excavations finished, they headed to Mansoura University Hospital. Hisham knew the radiologist and wanted his help to create 3D images of the bones, a method that had never been used before in Egypt. The porter greeted them and asked what was on the stretcher. It's a dinosaur. Is it sick? No, it died 66 million years ago. With the examinations and research complete, the world now had a new genus, a new species, Manzurosaurus shahini. Through nature ecology and evolution, Mohammed Yahya heard about Hisham's discovery. I reached out to Hisham. I was fascinated by the story and wanted to write a feature in for science which is the Arabic edition of Scientific American. It was an immediate hit. Many news centers picked it up. Hisham and his team even went on to be guests on regional TV talk shows. When the team finally shared their findings with the university, there was no initial recognition. But three months later, after Mohammed's story, their achievements were rewarded. Hisham's small desk and chair became a full-scale laboratory. Indeed, the experience changed all of my thinking. It's not all about gender. It's all about passion. <laughs>